It's funny, I've done this so many times and yet I was still totally overwhelmed, like, how do I do this? Okay. Everybody. Welcome back to North and South. We're not making pies today. <laughs> we're, wow. we're working on our house. A year ago, we were building bookshelves in our renovation. And today, we're buying bookshelves from Ikea for our rental. <laughs> um, we thought we would have Mike build more bookshelves for this house that we could then just take with us. But then I just looked at Ikea and I'm like, these are really cheap. And they're gonna be easy to move. And since they're not gonna be built in anyways, let's just get these. So we are, we're headed to Ikea. We're gonna pick them up, bring them back, which will be great because our library room is a disaster. It's just opened boxes with books spilling out of them all over the room. We can't really go in there, whoa. Sorry, curb. Because of that, and we can't use the room and we can't enjoy our books. Like the reason they're half opened or you know, half emptied is because we want our books. The kids especially are digging through trying to find some of their books. Which means they're making a mess. Yeah, they are making a mess. So I'm very excited now that we're done with September Prize, we can start working on um, some of these projects. And another reason we decided to go with Ikea is because Mike could build us some beautiful bookshelves, Obviously. but it would take him about a week to finish that project. But he's got a lot of studying to do. And I just feel like I, when it all was said and done, let's just get some bookshelves that we can put together in one day and um, we don't have to worry about painting them and waiting the time for it to like, um, what is that called? Cure? Yeah, cure. So I can just get that room started to pull together. So anyways, we're gonna go pick those up and then we'll, we'll show you progress when we get back or the mess. I like that mustache, buddy. I feel like you're too, gonna pull me over. Tell me, do you know how fast you were going? <laughs> don't look like I'm in the cockpit of an airplane. Oh, that's true too. <laughs> we obviously don't need a 12 passenger van anymore. Except we do. <laughs> it's so awesome to, like these seats have been out for a while because we can just slide things in here. It's just been an amazing van for us. I don't know how long we'll keep it. We only have five kids left at home. And, but it's been great. We just got home and Mike's gonna clear some things out in the garage so we can set it up. But I thought I should show you what the front room looks like right now. So this is our current situation with the library. And the hard part is these boxes are really heavy so you can't just like quickly clean it up. But we'll need to pull all of them out, put the shelving up. And um, this light we got thrifted and I love it, but it needs to be a little rewired so that the chain is longer. And then we'll put the shelves up and see if we want to trim them out and do anything in that way. Okay, out in the garage. I had to clean it up a little bit. Um, we haven't really got it set up the way I want it yet because we just haven't had time. This is the garage as it sits right now. This is another project for another day. But I got my workbench in the middle here so it's good to go. It's always easier to build something on a table than on the floor. Okay, Mike has brought in one shelf and then another one with the extension on it, so it's taller. But I think it's time to start moving these things out. Um, oh, Usher, Peter, yeah. I could use your help on something. Yeah, we need to move these boxes. They're really heavy. <laughs> yeah. Yay. <laughs> 
Okay, they're out of here, but I need to make sure and get this outlet poked through to the shelf that we're going to put in there so we can have the electricity and maybe that one pulled over. I'm not sure, but it, may, it looks like a lot more books when you put them in the dining room. So, you know, it's a good thing we got some bookshelves. It's funny, just like buying them from Ikea in the morning and putting them together is kind of anticlimactic. Like, it was that easy. You know, this was... This is a huge labor of love when we did actual built-ins, but since it's a rental, Ikea is going to be great. Another thing I have to do, you can see that some time has passed. One of our shelves was broken, so we had to go exchange it, but um, this rug has never been centered in this room because I put it in after the furniture. And so now that a lot of it's out, I need to kind of wiggle it around and get it in place. <laughs> So this rug, I don't know if I ever showed you guys this. I thrifted this rug. It has this dark green background and these little floral squares. And I love it. I think I got it for like $20. And it's one of the most favorite things I own. It's super silky and soft. I really love this chair too, but it doesn't really work in here. So I might be putting it down in the basement just to store it for now. Because what I really need is either another sofa or two chairs because this needs to be another sitting area. And so one of the reasons it doesn't work is it only sits one person and then it just doesn't work for the balance of the room. It's great to have in a library because it's perfect thing to sit in while you're reading, but it's just not gonna work. I know I could get another chair, but I just don't love it. So I think I'm gonna be on the hunt for two chairs or a sofa that might work in here. What do you guys think? Do you think I should get another sofa? I'm thinking two chairs, like maybe a couple of wing backs, but when you're thrifting, you get what you get. But what do you guys think? Another sofa, more seating maybe three people or two chairs. Also, when we went back to Ikea, they had their Christmas stuff out and they had this pillow. I think they mean for it to be Christmas, but it was so reminiscent of the rug, just more vibrant and in all the colors that I love and so Scandinavian that I love it. It's, it's sticking around, I love it. Okay, now Mike is trying to make a hole for this outlet. Mm -hmm. And then we'll make a hole here so we can have a little lamp in the shelf. And then we'll do something similar over there because there's an outlet right there. This is always Mike's favorite part. Oh, it's my favorite when I get it right. Mm -hmm. I mean, my you least favorite when I get it wrong. Then they just run out and deny that I had anything to Sobbing do with in the streets. In the first place. Mm. Oh my goodness. Now, Michael Norp, you're my hero. I'm assuming also this is actually still the right spot. Oh, that's its spot. <laughs> yeah. Either way, that's it. We're committed. You guys might hear a ruckus in the background. It's our kids who are obsessed with Little House on the Prairie. And every time they're watching it, I get sucked into it too. Okay, what we're doing next, and when I say we, I mean he, um, is if they're just sitting next to each other, you have this going on. And we don't want to build in men. We don't want to trim it out and cause like difficulty when it's time to move. It's close enough. Um, it'll disappear once the stuff is on, but there's no reason to leave this space. And so Mike is shoring them up and then, well, or tightening them up 
and screwing them together so we can easily unscrew them when we move someday. And then we're going to anchor them to the wall, so don't worry. Yeah, we will anchor them. And I think it will not be built in. I don't I don't plan on doing that. You can totally do that if you're owning the house, but if you're not owning the house, not worth it because then you've got to do like caulking and all sorts of stuff. So this will be great. And I will put my stuff in there and I will be so happy and we'll figure out what's going on over here and it'll be, maybe someday I'll get some curtains. We'll see. So obviously though, this is a part one of this room. There's, there'll be lots more to do. Tomorrow I'll put the books in and we'll do that here with you guys, but I won't be finding furniture and putting curtains in and probably hanging up art quite yet. I don't know if Mike is gonna feel up to the pulling that light down further in this video. We'll see. Somebody else asked, what's going on with the pilot training? Yes, he's still doing it. Mike is a private pilot now. He's a licensed pilot, but he's working on the next part of his training, which is all book learning. So in between editing videos and putting in Billy bookcases. Billy! He's upstairs reading and watching and studying. So he's still working on it. He's gonna do it. He's got the mustache to prove it. Somebody else asked if you can have a mustache as a pilot. And as far as we know, well, he is a pilot and he has a mustache. But as far as we know, a, an airline pilot is allowed to have a mustache. Okay, Mike is finishing up the anchors. Yep. And then it's not that late, but we've become old people. We're gonna go up and go to bed. And then tomorrow morning, I will hurry up, I know, and come down and start putting in the shelves and the books. Okay, it's the next morning. And I am ready to put the bookshelves in. It's funny, I love this usually, but I am a little overwhelmed. I mean, there's a lot of boxes everywhere. And it's like, do I just take, I think in the past, I usually take them all out and put them in stacks. So that's probably what I should do. But um, yeah, last night as I was going to bed, I was like turning over in my mind, like, should I paint them? Should I? Mike's like, no. I'm like, you're right. I do love darker, moodier libraries, but it is kind of a dark room already. I mean, I know we have this incredibly bright light, but um, so the white's probably good. And because the white is not a painted surface, but like a melamine, you know, that should make it a little bit more durable and it'll match the trim. So it's a white library here in the rental house. Also, I moved that chair there last night. And it looks so cute. So it's gonna stay there until I find, Mike and I talked about it. We definitely want, though I probably will go back on that. We're leaning towards a couch. I did see some really cute chairs on Facebook Marketplace that would match everything perfectly. But we just find that whenever we come in here, when we have like adult friends over with, or another family, the parents will come sit in here so that you can have a quieter room to talk in. And eventually every child in the house now, not obviously not this room because we just moved in here, but anytime we have a room like this, we'll come and join you. And so you want as much seating as possible because eventually like you've got like 15 people in the room. And so we probably are gonna go with the couch. Though chairs visually, I think aesthetically would be the best, but we're still gonna keep looking for, for anything really. But in the meantime, my cute green chaise gets to stay. <laughs> books out as you can see I like to organize them by color I just think color blocking your books is so pleasing and we've got a good collection here I think those will easily be able to fit up on those shelves but you can see I have these boxes all here these are all kids books and I want them somewhere in the public part of the house, but I don't know where yet. I know it looks like a lot, but a lot can fit on these shelves once I put the other shelves in, and then I'm gonna use the top uh, for books as well. So we're gonna pack them in. <music> got all the books, all the not children's books off the floor in the shelves. I was really getting overwhelmed and it's funny I've done this so many times and yet I was still totally overwhelmed like how do I do this? 
But what I don't have up here is decorator items. Those are in boxes, so I need to pull those out and then I will be able to start making decisions. And it's just so much easier once they're up there to like see them and start moving them around than to make decisions exactly about where they're gonna end up when they're on the floor. Obviously, the Billy bookcases from Ikea just kind of disappear once you start getting your stuff in them and you don't even think about whether or not they're custom or you know built in or whatever at least i don't think you do we ate some lunch and i pulled out some art i'm looking at it thinking about it i think i'm going to do a gallery wall here not certain obviously i've been talking about the kids books and some of them i really love and i want accessible down here some i'm fine putting in the kids rooms you know maybe some of the age specific ones and we have this spot here and so i actually looked on ikea and they have something that's perfect that goes right there that looks like a Billy bookcase and that is only 50 bucks. That's great. And I can put in all the kids' books that I love because I like, I love my kids' books too. It's not just, I love, I love them. And I love them. And we need to get a curtain rod. So like we could actually finish this room in one video. That never happens here at North and South. That'd be amazing. Somehow it's not getting any cleaner in here, but actually feels like it's getting messier. I did go down into our basement to look at boxes full of decorator items. I found some, I got some out. Also, Mike finished this shelving unit and it looks kind of um, cheap in the back, but well, not to worry. It'll be covered. I'm gonna put wallpaper in the back. I have extra wallpaper from our last house and I'm gonna wallpaper the back just to make it look special. Should have thought about it when I cut the wallpaper to do the pattern centered. But I'm thinking once everything's in there, well, it, I guess I could go cut more, but I'm just gonna have it as is. And I think it, I hopefully it does enough. I'm gonna put some plants and all the books in it and a lamp on top. And because it is a pretty cheap cabinet. I mean, it's pretty cheap. And I am curious as how curtains will fit <laughs> with it there, but we'll make it work. So how's it going, Megan? I'm still a little overwhelmed. If you turn around, you can see all the books on the table. See that? <laughs> Lots of books. So I have cleared out some space in these shelves by moving some books to other areas of the house. Mm -hmm. um, and I still have some spaces I can do that so the kids' books can come in here. Um, but I then need to bring in decorator items. I'm just tired. <laughs> well, it's you 8 o'clock. I know, I've been doing this for like 10 hours, you know? Plus making dinner and yeah. all that. So you don't feel super creative at the end of that, but mm -hmm. it it is looking really beautiful with all the lamps. Um, very cozy in here. And the curtains, that did wonders. So I'm very happy. I mean, I'm sure it will always be changing. Um, That's kind of part of the fun, right? Yeah, but I definitely want more stuff in there, not just books, you know? So we'll we'll be working on that. And then a gallery wall and uh, stuff like that. See you tomorrow. <laughs> All right, this is what happens whenever Megan says she's too tired to keep going as far as decorating. I will then. About three seconds after the camera's turned off, she yeah. like, oh, I'll look in this box. <laughs> Next thing you know, I got my little hat. She's unpacking it, and she got her second wind. Mm -hmm. So I don't know where I'm gonna put my little house in. It never though. ends. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> this is fun. This this is a photo of Esther and me in France, in front of this really cool old old whatever building. And then we actually bought the oh, ceramic version of it. Mother. See that? That's the real one. This is the one that you buy that's obviously not real because it's a lot littler than the real one. You can walk in the real one. Yeah. You can actually walk in the real one, but that's kind of fun. Okay. Um, I woke up this morning feeling much better. Ate some breakfast. And while I was still in my pajamas and in my robe, I came in and finished the books. So I didn't show it. Pajamas and robe. 
but we're done and um, let's do the final reveal. So I'm not completely done. You can see there are certain areas where the books are kind of empty or whatever, but I am happy to report that I got almost all the kids books in. We got the table cleared off. I have some books that I'm gonna take to the thrift store and there's a few more books upstairs that I'm gonna work in, but I'm so happy that the whole family library is fitting in here. It's also blowing my mind because three days ago, Mike's like, hey, I, I'll build the shelves this week for you or this coming week. And then we decided two days ago just to do the Billy bookcases. And now we have a complete library finished, which is just crazy. For a rental, it's brilliant, but even for not a rental, they look great, they really do. And it was so inexpensive comparatively, very happy. So the room isn't done. You know, you can see that that needs something going on. And like I said, I need a seating figured out because that isn't enough. And um, you guys let me know if you haven't already in the comments, if you think I should try to find a sofa that's about the same size to go across. I think aesthetically two chairs would look best, but that's not gonna give me as much seating obviously. And I'm gonna have to find something that works in with the rug. And then I've gotta do um, a gallery wall. So definitely come back in our next video. I am gonna be shopping. I've already got a bunch of things saved on Facebook Marketplace. I also have really great um, furniture, thrift stores around here, and I have a ton of art. So I think in the next video, I will do the gallery wall. I'm a little nervous about it because I'm gonna do some larger pieces than I usually do in a gallery wall. I wanna get this room squared away. So we're gonna do a part two where we get the rest figured out. Also, I talked in, earlier in the video about needing to move this light down, but now that we've pulled the shelves all the way up to it, it doesn't look strange anymore because before, you know, everything was crowded down here. So I don't know if it's worth Mike trying to rewire that light just for like four more inches to pull it down. So it might stay, but you would literally have to rewire the whole light. And that just doesn't seem worth it. And I love the light and I think it looks great. I love the light it gives to the room. I thrifted that for $30. So very happy about that. So I'm pretty sure I took some before, you know, videos of the library. So should we do some really fun before and after B-roll? I think we should, let's do it. So, love it. Yeah, Very looks happy good. with it. I think everybody's gonna wanna hang out in here. Already, as you guys probably saw on some of the time lapses, but like kids were just like looking at books. <laughs> we love our books and they've been, I've been coming in and there's always somebody in here already in the last 24 hours looking at a book in the room. And I have to, I, today I had to kick Asher up because it's like, hey, we need to finish this video. But so good job, babe. Oh, well, I mean, that wasn't, it's not hard to build an Ikea bookshelf, so. Well, it would have taken you a full week, at least, to build at these least. bookshelves. Yeah, totally, so. Um, and and also the price, I think, would have been similar, same. if not more, to actually do it myself, so. Yeah, so um, that's really helpful that we got a library that quick. And awesome. um, it looks near built in. It looks near built right. in. Right, I mean, it's close enough. Yeah. It's close enough. So, thanks for coming along, guys. Don't forget to come back next time and like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you then. Bye. Bye.